Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 World Rugby Hall of Fame. The World Rugby Hall of Fame has been in place since 2006 and recognises the outstanding achievements and contributions of individuals and organisations within the game. It is a chance to celebrate those that have moulded the game of rugby as we know and love today. There have been 148 inductees from a wide range of backgrounds and countries, including some of the game's biggest names, such as Jonah Lomu, William Webb Ellis, and Maggie Alfonsi. This year's inductees are six more stars that have played a significant role in making rugby the sport it is today. Osea Kolonisau, a Fijian Sevens legend, led his team to back-to-back -back triumphs at the HSBC World Seven Series in 2015 and 2016. Osea was a flag bearer for Team Fiji at the 2016 Olympic Games and led his nation to gold, Fiji's first ever Olympic medal and has since been immortalised on a Fijian $7 banknote. Humphrey Kaangi is synonymous with both Kenyan and Sevens rugby. A nominee for World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year in 2013, he played a major role as Kenya won their maiden World Series Cup title in 2016. It has taken them 114 tournaments to enjoy this moment. Kenya, congratulations, that was just awesome. And helped his country reach two Rugby World Cup Sevens semi-finals. The opening score goes to Humphrey Kayenge. Humphrey was also a member of World Rugby's bid team that successfully earned the inclusion of sevens at the Rio Olympic Games. Rugby sevens is accepted as an Olympic sport. Most recently, he became the first rugby Olympian to be appointed to the IOC's decision-making structures. Brianna Manuel has enjoyed an illustrious career starring in both the sevens and 15 circuit for the Black Ferns. The centre was integral to New Zealand's back-to-back -back World Cup wins the Blackburns are the world champions yet again. And captained the seventh team to the inaugural World Series title in 2013. Mark Egan presents the series trophy to New Zealand and the captain, Puriana Manuel. Her legendary seven side evolved into a great dynasty and have since won six out of the eight World Series titles. Cheryl McAfee led her country to glory in the inaugural Women's Rugby World Cup Sevens. She excelled in 15s too, highlighted by captaining Australia to a bronze medal at the 2010 Rugby World Cup. The Sevens World Champions are now the third best team at 15s as well, and deservedly so. Her work off the field was equally impressive. Cheryl's pioneering spirit shone through as a key member of the bid team that successfully campaigned for Rugby Sevens inclusion in the Olympic program. It's going to boost the game, the women's game. Um, it's going to encourage and inspire young girls to play the game, to participate. And that's, that's, that's so rewarding. Will Carling is one of England's greatest rugby players and became captain at the tender age of just 22 and presided over the team for one of the most successful periods in their history. He was captain a record 59 times, winning back-to-back -back Five Nations Grand Slams in 1991 and 1992, and claimed another Grand Slam in 1995. Jim Telfer won 25 caps for Scotland, including 10 appearances as captain, as well as representing the British and Irish Lions on two tours. Upon retirement, Telfer turned his attention to coaching and became one of the most revered coaches in the game. He was coached for the 1983 Lions Tour to New Zealand and was forwards coach for their victorious tour to South Africa in 1997, the scene of his famous Everest speech. He led Scotland to the Grand Slam in 1984 and was assistant to Sir Ian McGeechan when they repeated the feat in 1990. Congratulations to all the inductees on your fantastic careers and thank you for everything you've done for the game of rugby.